good day, Brother Mo, Philly Streets Talk. And today we with Jay here. Hi. And Jay has some interesting stuff going on, so we figured that we'll share it with you guys. Tell us about it. So um, I'm currently building my brand. It's called Leave Black Girls Alone. And I have an Instagram, a TikTok, and I'm starting my YouTube, so you can go check it out. Now, now, you told them, uh, speak, speak a little louder so they can hear you. Okay. Tell them, tell them again what you're doing. Oh, um, so I'm currently building my brand. I have a YouTube, an Instagram, and a TikTok, and it's all at Leave Black Girls Alone. So you can check it out. Okay, so it says Leave Black Girls Alone. Now, I don't know nothing about that, so I'm just being her and I'm introducing her to you guys. So she will explain this guy to you guys a little better. So we want to know more about so, so I got the inspiration for the name because I feel like a lot of people rag on black girls and talk crap about black girls, but everyone loves black girls. Everyone wants to be black girls. Everyone wants to look like a black girl. Everyone wants to talk like a black girl. So if you don't like us, just leave us alone, but don't try to take from us and take. You could just leave us alone. It's okay. So with all, with all fairness, do you feel like um, there's something being targeted towards black women that stereotypes them, or what's going on? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stereotypes towards black women that I feel like you can take the stereotypes of black women and put it on other non-black women, and it's all of a sudden it's a trend and it's the best thing ever, but when it's on black women, it's a problem. So, so now that we own the topic of black women, um, since she's talking about leave black girls alone or black women alone, um, why do you think that black men are dating outside the race? Um, honestly, I think it has a lot to do with self-hate, honestly. Like the reasons that they give for why they don't want to date black women is usually ridiculous reasons that don't make any sense. So. It's not really a good reason of why. Well, a lot of people, well, a lot of black men that I know that have dated outside the race feel like um, the the black women that they have encountered didn't treat them properly and they didn't give the proper respect and the proper love and affection that they feel like they deserve from that black woman and they found it elsewhere. Okay, so what I would say to that is, if you're saying that non-black women treat you better, who raised those non-black women? They're non-black fathers. So if we're black and we have black fathers and you're saying all these women are horrible, what does that say about the black fathers that are raising them? Well, who, who, says, who says all these black women are horrible? We're just talking about... Um... Well, you're saying the black men that you know, that date outside, they say that black so, women don't treat them good. They, 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 from their own perspective and their own experience, yeah. They, so why they don't they say, know how to treat a man? Why don't the woman know how to treat a man? Yeah. I'm not a woman. I can't answer that. I'm a man. That's why I'm talking to a woman. I'm trying to get answers for you. My question is, what does that say about black fathers? That well, these women don't know how to interact with men properly. Well, I can say this from my perspective. Um, a lot of stuff starts at home. From the guys to the girls. The way girls treat guys and the guys treat girls is based on the way they see things in their own household when they were growing up. So some of them learn bad behavior and some of them learn good behavior. But I don't even focus on that. I'm more focusing on correction and finding solutions to make things more appealing to each other. It don't it ain't even about no race. It's not about color. And that's not about gender. It's about love and respect and, and honoring the person that you feel like you want to be with. Mm -hmm. That's it. As simple as that. Um, so when, when I hear somebody saying 
things about how to empower black women. I want to know how, how, and how, what does it take and how can you do that? Well, I feel like in order to empower black women, um, I just made a video on my YouTube talking about how as black women, we're always made to carry the load for everyone else. We're constantly made to feel like we have to fight for other people. But I feel like we should take that energy and focus more on ourselves and getting ourselves together so that we can be better. What else would you like to share about her? What, what, what you doing? She want to give you some more insight on what she's doing. Um, well, like I said, I'm trying to grow my social media. Um, and I want to do merch. I want to do a lot of merch. Right now, I'm currently learning how to airbrush. So that's going to be coming into fruition. So I'm trying to build a brand right now. Okay. And you feel this is the way that you want to launch your brand? Yeah. Okay, so you heard it from her. You heard it from her, right from her mouth. Excuse me. All right, is there anything you want to give your, your followers? You want to tell them how to find you on your social media? Again, you can follow me on YouTube, IG, TikTok, at Leave Black Girls Alone. Spelled exactly how it sounds. Leave Black Girls Alone. Y'all heard that. All right, so give me all exclusive. All right, that's Jules, y'all. Make sure y'all check her out. Philly Streets Talk. Thank we you. Out.